Hello developers, welcome back. Next in Laravel 7, we will look into the improved route model binding. So for that, let's go to the route, web route. And here, let's say we have a route for single post. And I will also create post controller at show. We already have created this post model in the previous lesson right here. Now next we will create this post controller. So here in the terminal php artisan make controller post controller and in the http controllers post controller here I'll create method show and this method will going to accept this post so here we'll say post model and dollar post and finally just return the post now in the browser here we will navigate to posts route and here i'll fetch post id one and here we get the post where post id is one and it is very basic route model binding that we know it from the previous version of laravel we created the route and this post key is automatically bind with the post right here laravel will automatically inject the model instance that has an id matching to the corresponding value of the request uri this one now let's say instead of this id we want to fetch post from the slug we have not created this slug so let's first create this slug so in the migration database migrations this post migration and here i'll create table string slug and it is unique next i will also add this in the post factory here i'll say slug is equal to dollar title here i'll say str slug and make sure to import this class now let's run the migration php artisan migrate refresh in the php artisan tinker here i'll create factory app post create and i will create two posts now we have two posts with slug if we refresh now we have slug also next instead of this id we want to access this post using this slug like this for now it will not work let's see so first close all of this next we will navigate to the post model and here we override the method get route key name and here we will return the column name which will be used to track this post in the route model binding and in our case that is slug refresh we get the post by using this post slug now in laravel 7 we can achieve the same goal without overriding this route key name we remove this now if we go to browser if we refresh sure enough it will not work and in the web route to make it work here we can specify the column name to track the post in our case that is colon slug and now if we refresh it will work how cool is that and it is very nice and it looks very clean to me because right here in the route we can immediately see that this post is tracked by slug now let's extend this route let's say in this route we have users and here we pass user and here we fetch the post for particular this user for now let's remove this now in the browser here we will say users1 and post1 and we get error because in the post controller we also need to pass user model roller user and import this user class now go to browser refresh now we have post where id is 1 and here the user id is 1 and if we pass the post id 2 
we get the post where id is 2 but this post belongs to user id 2 and here we have passed the user id 1 and that is not we want we should see this post if this post belongs to user id 1 so how we can fix this the one solution of it is that here we will use this dollar user and here we'll say post relationship and find or fail where post id sure enough it is a one solution but now in laravel 7 we can achieve this using route model binding so here in the routes and here in this route here i will bind colon id even it is the default route key for the post and now if we go to browser if we refresh and this time we got the undefined method post now why it has given this error because in the now in this route it first fetch the user and then try to fetch this post using post relationship in the user model but in the user model we don't have this relationship so now let's create this post relation post and it will return dollar this has many post class refresh it has given the not found error because post id does not belong to user id 1 if we pass here post id 1 and we able to get the post because post id 1 belongs to user id 1 so now here if we bind the slug and refresh it will not work because we need to use slug to fetch the post so here i'll pass this slug we will able to fetch this post and if we use the slug for the post id 2 and it will give us error because this post does not belong to post id 2 if here i pass user id 2 and this will work so now here you should remember that here we have passed the custom key so here it will scope the model with the parent model using the basic relationship methods so and if we have not used the custom key right here the scoping will not work thanks for watching if you like the video hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next lesson